Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sarah. If you're new, I make a bunch of lifestyle, vlogs, fashion, wedding related content. So if you like any of that, make sure you stick around. But today's video is gonna be a very different type of video. I recently bought the Canon M200 content creator kit about two months ago now, and I have formed my little list of pros and cons. So I wanted to sit down and share them with you guys. I know so many small YouTubers and small creators follow me on my YouTube channel so I figured if I could help just like one of you guys out on your decision if you're trying to buy a new camera then this video is worth it so I wanted to sit down and talk to you guys about the camera so if you're interested make sure you keep on watching okay so the first thing I wanted to do was jump on into this box and show you everything that comes with the content creator kit so the first thing that comes in the box is obviously the camera. So this is the camera. It is the Canon EOS M200 and it just looks like this. Mine is a little dirty. <laughs> I have been using it a lot. Um, so it comes with the camera. It also comes with the camera strap, which is really convenient if you just want to like throw it over your shoulder or whatever if you're out and about and you don't want to risk dropping your camera. Um, so that comes in handy. The next thing that obviously comes in the box is the lens itself. So what you do is obviously you just take off the two lens caps and just attach them. I usually don't even take the lens off of my camera, but I want to show you guys. So this is the lens and you just kind of attach it like this and you just kind of click it into place. So here is the full camera with the lens on it. The next thing that comes in the kit is a little tripod and this guy like swivels and moves all around it about to get different angles. If I could do it right now, like you can move it down and all that kind of stuff. Um, and you can also swivel it around this way. So <laughs> hard to show, but it's just really easy to get a bunch of different angles with it. Um, and then also it has this little remote guy that goes right on in here and you can start your video or end your video from here you could take a picture with this little remote and i think that's pretty convenient if you want to set your tripod up for a picture or like to start your clip and you don't want to run back to the camera or whatever it may be so i just love how i feel like there's so much that comes in this kit the next thing is this little guy i've never even opened it it's actually a t an attachment for your tripod to put some sort of like mic or something on it. This tripod is obviously um, universal, so you can use it with whatever camera you do have. Um, so that would be helpful for a different camera that has microphones and stuff. The next things that came in the kit were the battery charger and the battery and also an SD card. So I didn't like previously have a camera, so like having all this stuff was really awesome for me and made the content creator kit like so worth it. But now that you know everything that comes in the box, I wanted to jump into my pros and cons for this camera. I love this little guy. So I'm gonna start with pros because I have a lot more pros than cons and I just want this video to be overall like positive. The first positive that I wanted to talk about is the flip up screen. So I love this camera so much. I use it mostly for vlogging. So it's really nice to be able to hold it it's a really big screen to be able to see my face and I like that it flips up and not like to the side or I know some cameras flip down and I feel like that would be really irritating. So I like the flip up screen and I also feel like the screen is very sturdy when it flips up. I know a lot of people that have the G7X have had problems with the flip up screen with the screws coming undone. Overall, this flip up screen just feels really sturdy and like I wouldn't have a lot of issues like that um because i was between this camera and the canon g7x mark ii so i think this is a huge pro for this camera the next thing is the removable lens on this camera i think that is a huge plus because if i ever want it to upgrade my lens i have that option i could just click it off i can get a wide angle lens if i want or i can get honestly whatever lens um that fits onto this camera and right now it came with the 15-45 millimeter lens and I can replace that whenever I want it to by just like literally clicking it off, um, which is really nice. Some cameras don't have that option to switch out the lens and I think that is a huge pro that you can if you want to upgrade your camera quality 
or anything that you could just switch out the lens. The next thing I think that is a bit really big pro to this camera is the picture and video quality. I have noticed such a huge upgrade. Obviously, I was only using my iPhone to film before, so it is a very big upgrade for me. I just think it's really a great picture quality and not that much money, which is my next pro to this camera. And it's just the price is a really good price to get for the camera and everything that comes in the kit. Um, like I mentioned, I was looking at the G7X and the camera alone was like $200 more than what I spent on this kit. So I feel like you get a really good bang for your buck if you go in and get the kit like I did. Um, I think I did get it on sale on Black Friday. So I know this camera in particular does go on sale, which is also a really nice bonus if you wanna wait until another sale comes around. The next pro of this camera is the focus. I feel like the focus quality like is really awesome. It focuses really fast. It constantly has a box on your face and on your eye, and it follows you when you move and all that to focus on you. And I think it's just like really easy focus. I know a lot of people that have the G7X complained about that as well and didn't with this one so there was a lot of like reasons like that where i was going between the g7x and this camera um which just made me land on this camera ultimately but the focus is really good on this camera and i really love it but the last pro of this camera which i kind of touched on a little bit before but i just feel like you get such a good bang for your buck with this camera especially for someone like me um who is just starting out with cameras this is my first camera i've ever bought for content creation and I just, I didn't have anything. I didn't have obviously the battery or the battery charger. I didn't have a tripod. I didn't have SD cards. So getting this kit for someone like me um, is perfect. I could see if you have been filming and making videos and have a bunch of cameras um, that this camera could be a little bit too simple for you, which is actually my next Point I want to make it's a little bit in the middle of a pro and a con I guess just how you take it um for me it is a pro because I like I said I'm new with cameras so I didn't want something that was really complex that I wasn't going to understand so I really love how this is a simple camera there's really not that many like buttons or dials or anything to it so everything's pretty simple and for me that is this like a necessity because I would never be able to figure anything out if I had a million buttons and toggles and everything to work with. So I think this camera would be great for someone starting out and maybe their first camera really wanting to get like dive into cameras and learn a little bit more about them. And maybe not so much for someone that has a bunch of cameras and already knows how to work the settings and everything that you need to know. <laughs> um, so that's just what I think. Um, maybe this wouldn't be the best camera if you're already like knowledgeable. Um, I do want one day to get the Canon M50 and I know that one is definitely a lot more intense and has a lot more going on. Um, so that might be my next camera one day once I completely figure out settings and how to work this camera. <laughs> um, but this for sure is a good bang for your buck. Now that I mentioned also like the both category, I'm going to move on to the cons. And I don't have that many, but the first one I want to mention is that I personally use this camera mostly for vlogging and it is a little bit on the large side for that. I know the G7X does not have a remo removable lens and it kind of it's a like collapsible lens, so it gets really small pretty much to the size of this camera without the lens which would be a lot nicer just to be able to like throw it into my bag or something like i can't really throw this easily into one of my purses um because it's a little large it's just kind of wide so that is something to consider if you're using this camera specifically for vlogging and out in public like this is something a little bit more noticeable than like a g7x i'd feel like but i still really enjoy the camera it's not something that like deterred me but when I did open it, I was a little bit shocked how big it was. I wasn't expecting it to be this large, but this is like the full size. My palm is like that. If you have it open, it is a little bit on the bigger side, especially if you're trying to like carry it around everywhere you go when you're like vlogging out in the day or going like out in cities and all that kind of stuff. I just feel like it's a little clunky for something like that, but 
And then again, there's cameras that are massive. It just kind of depends what you want to use this for. I guess take that with a grain of salt. Obviously, the next camera I want is the M50 and it is a large camera. It is a lot bigger than this, so it just like wouldn't be a vlogging camera for me. It'd be more of a sit down video camera or at home vlogging camera, but um, that is just something I noticed and wanted to like let you guys know if you're trying to bring this out and about, it might be a little bit more difficult, but by no means like hard. So I still bring it out with me. I still vlog with it outside of my house all the time. It's just a little bit larger. The next con, and I think this is a really big con and <laughs> this kind of sucks, but for the sound quality, I wish you were able to improve it by putting an external microphone in. And right now you can't, there's no way to plug in a mic. And that just kind of sucks. I feel like there's no reason that there like shouldn't be an external mic, but there isn't. And the G7X doesn't have one either. So I knew with my two options that I was considering, I wasn't going to get one, but it would be convenient. It would make my quality even better. If that is something you are trying to upgrade with your videos, I would maybe consider a camera that did have an external microphone jack. Um, I know the M50 does and a, obviously a bunch of other <laughs> uh, cameras, but this one and the G7X do not. So that is unfortunate. And that is actually my last con. So that is the end of this video. I hope it helped you a little bit. I know I was a little chatty during it. And this is like by no means the types of videos I normally make, but I figured I might be able to help some of you guys with this. I was really struggling when I was trying to pick my camera and it really came down to price obviously is a big one for me. Um, I'm still a very small creator right now. This is a really great starting point. So I love this camera. I'm very happy with it. There are a few cons that I wish I could fix, but you can't. So, um, but overall I am very happy with my camera choice and I will upgrade again one day as I continue to grow. But if I was able to help you at all, please let me know in the comments. It would make me like so happy if I actually was able to help with this video. I just wanted to sit down because I know so many, like probably half of my subscribers are also small creators and maybe wanted to take the next step in buying a camera. Um, so I just hope I helped and I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you guys like any sorts of vlogs or lifestyle type of content, make sure you subscribe and stick around and I will see you guys next time. Bye guys. Bye.